Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my daughter Mara. Hi. And today she's going to help me with a smoky eye makeup look. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, face washed? Yes. Moisturized? Yes. Okay, cool. So we'll start with the primer. Where's your primer? Here just... Okay, so you like color correcting? Mine's for pores because I'm a teenager. That's all right. The totality of the makeup I had before I was on the TV show, like, fit and all, like, this size back. <laughs> uh, well. So now I have to, like, actually do, like, real makeup, and I'm, like, out of my depth, and so I just, like, try to learn a little bit at a time. Uh, okay. Um, so <laughs> I have a drawer. <laughs> And a suitcase. <laughs> a suitcase. And two cups of brushes. Well, I now have a tote bag that is so full of makeup that I can't even close it. But it's all mostly stuff that I asked you to select for me because I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> but to be fair, like every time I had a makeup artist for the TV show, like I would ask her, you know, pick one product that's good for me and then I would go home and buy it. That way I just slowly accumulated products that like were good for me because... I have no clue. Gotcha. Well, my favorite primer is the Benefit Professional because it's full of silicone, so it's fake and it fills your pores. <laughs> and you chose for me the Maybelline, Maybelline Master Prime. One. Yeah, that's a um, drugstore one. It's way, it's <laughs> way cheaper. I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup. Right. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather spend it on yarn. Um, I like to spend the money I don't have, so it's not a habit I um, would suggest, but. It works. Okay, where's your beauty blender? We're gonna. It's, it's a mess. Oh, your um, blender beauty. Is that off what? brand? <laughs> yeah, my, okay. so is it wet? No. Does it need to be wet? <laughs> okay. Have um, patience with my with me. Okay. It's all right. It'll be all right. It, okay. Okay. So, so this is how I do it because I'm like. All right. Why don't you show me? <laughs> well, I, okay. Maybe it's not so bad. I shake up my foundation and I just dab it on here. Okay, that's so fine. That's not too terrible, right? Right. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> She's totally humoring me <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. But I do my makeup pretty regularly now, but I don't necessarily think I'm doing it right. Well, first of all, it's gonna be way easier if you use the other end. Oh, <laughs> you're using it upside down. Oh, well, that's that's an issue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. And do you have to like keep dabbing it like this, or can I just get bored and just start rubbing? <sighs> I'm wearing um, her patience already. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, rubbing is the number one thing I would tell you not to do. Really? Yes, because okay. that's gonna make you look way more cakey. <sighs> Dabbing is going to get it to sink into the skin okay, and look well, much more natural. This could take a while. Well, yeah. But I feel like I'm like got too much here, so I mm -hmm. want to rub some of it out. The only place you're allowed to rub is your neck. Okay. Sure. Okay, so um, I like the Kat Von D foundation. It does not usually look like this, but I used it so much that I broke it, so. Well, what does it, does it normally have a label on it or? It, well, it usually <laughs> comes in a big tube of fancy packaging, but I broke that, so. Well, but the product is still good, so. The product is still good. It's a okay. little heavy, though, so it's full coverage. I don't even though. know what I used. Wet and Wild Foundation is what I have on. Photo Focus, Soft Beige, ooh. Okay, what are you doing now? Concealer under your eyes. Okay, and I'm going to use MAC Concealer because I need the heavy duty stuff. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte? Tarte. Tarte with an E? Yeah, Tarte. So, and I don't know if this is right, but I just use my finger. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. <laughs> blend, as long as your fingers are clean. Well, yes. And then I blend slightly downward, like a triangle. Okay, with your foundation thing? My beauty blender. Beauty blender. Or makeup sponge. Or makeup sponge. Ooh, I think I got it in my eye. That's fine. Ah, what the heck. Sometimes I contour my retinas. That's a joke. <laughs> Don't do that. 
I didn't even catch it. I'm like, come for <laughs> your retinas. What? Are, what? It's a joke. You're supposed to laugh. Oh. Huh? All right. All right. Now, I'm not so sure I did a good job. Do I need more? Um, you need to blend a little bit more under your eye and blend down. Okay. Your or your concealer should always be a little bit lighter than your foundation just to brighten you up. See? Mix it up. Okay. Powder. Powder. We share a powder because I don't have the money to buy another one right now. So, this is an RCMA translucent powder. I just dip my beauty blender in it, pull it up, and dab it under my eyes. Now, I did. I do not ever use this product. I don't even know what to do with this. So, this sets it all in place, right? Yes. So you put it where you put your concealer. Okay. And then it won't crease and wrinkle. Here we go. Can we just use powdered sugar instead? <laughs> it would taste a lot better. That's a good thing we're not eating. It's probably toxic. Oh, yeah, that probably bad. Don't do that. And then this is completely optional, but I use a MAC pressed powder and just set everything I didn't press with, set with the translucent powder. And my mom needs to buy me a new one because mm -hmm. she's been used. <laughs> well, you have a babysitting gig this weekend. Do I? Yes, you do. So that'll bring you some bucks towards buying a new one. I'm going to start pre having my account uh, clients prepay. <laughs> yeah. Do you give them a discount if they prepay? No. No. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Um, contour. Contour. Okay, I have a contour palette. Right. And I need help with this because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I have the e.l.f. palette. Okay. Right? E.l.f. This is too dark. <laughs> My foundation or my concealer, concealer is, is too, too dark. dark. Okay, well, yeah, it's fine though. Probably she suggested I use it in the summertime. Probably. And now it's wintertime, and so I'm probably a lot paler. But right. it will do for today. All right, so for contour, you're going to go for a dense, fluffy brush. And I love the brushes that she got for me. So it's like all in this pretty little pouch. From Morphe. Morphe, okay. Okay, so this brush? Yes. Now, why did you not blend all your powder in, your white? Oh, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> this is it. Okay, cool. No, um, I'll wipe it away in a few minutes. Okay, okay so what, you're doing contour first? Yeah, I'm using a Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, so that's expensive. Kat Von D. And I'm using e.l.f., which is not as expensive. Right. <laughs> but e.l.f. still has nice powders. So I'm going to mix these bottom two right here. Okay for my contour and bronzing. And what should I do? I would mix the two on the bottom as well. Mix the two on the bottom. All right. This is where the fish face happens. Okay, yeah, where are you putting this stuff? Right on my cheekbone. Okay. And you blend down. And you made a circle first. I always blend in circular motions. And don't worry, it's a little heavy, but we'll blend it out. judging this hard. There's technically no rules in makeup, but... I bet she's judging me. <laughs> okay, now what? Uh, blending? Blending. That's important. Like that. And then I am going to take my beauty blender again. Put powder. Goodness. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to powder right under that contour. Oh, interesting. To brighten it up. Okay. And make it sharper. Okay. Which is totally optional. I'm just you know, extra like that. Okay, so you didn't really bake under your eyes like I did, but this is the point where I'm going to dust up and away. Okay. Get that extra powder off and then press it into the skin. There you go. And then it makes it nice and soft. 
Very and bright nice under. Yes, Here. yes, bright. Bright is good. I could use more yeah. bright. Yeah, so that's what baking is for. Baking? Baking. Like, we're going to bake brownies later, but you're baking your face right now? Yeah, your face is the cake. Okay. My face is the cake. You bake at 450 degrees. As long as it's chocolate, it's all good. I'm just powdering my forehead because I get a little oily. Because <laughs> if it's not chocolate, it's not worth it. <sighs> just saying. <laughs> I okay. agree. Now what do I do next? Um, You're going to go in with blush. Okay. But... I'll wait for you. Yeah. You've got the best eyebrows. I'm telling you. They are like... A gift from God because I know that you don't even touch them and they're just gorgeous <laughs> thank you you don't get them from my side of the family I don't like have hardly any eyebrows at all yeah we'll fix that oh that's gonna be a trick I could use the learning that because I do not like I don't trust my free hand to like draw it on okay so I'm mostly blended but I'm going to go in there's a cat on I know the table. I know Theo get down get down get all right so I'm just going to go in with a light hand, tap under here, and contour my jaw a little bit. And you're making, putting dark under there? I am. Oh, really? Yes. So don't blend up too far because you'll look like you have a five o'clock shadow. Oh, yeah. That'd be bad. So we're moving on to blush. Okay. Now, I always mess up my blush. Like, I... It's bad. It's, like, really bad. So... So generally, I just skip it and don't do it at all because I'm afraid. Okay. Well, I'm afraid of blush. if we're going to do a purple, I'm going to use a peachier shade right here in the middle mm -hmm. because our eyes are going to be so colorful that we don't want the blush to compete. And we actually have the same exact Morphe palette for blush because you like it so much. Yeah, this is the Morphe 9N. I think it's $12. Yeah, and it's a great price. So. And you can use... Which um, one color should I use? Uh, I would use this. Go in with a light hand. Okay. Dab like two or three times. Tap off. Then I go like this. And this is why the there's dust all over the house. Right. Yeah. From and the then with a really tap. light hand. I guess I can't get away from being a mom, huh? Like I try to like put it aside for a little while. Yeah, it's not really a job you can quit. <laughs> like I quit my pizzeria job. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes handling it means you just have to quit. <laughs> Handled. Done. Done. Don't Handled. have to worry about it anymore. All right, and then blush should always be done with a light hand so you don't look like you got slapped in the face. Exactly, that's my problem. Or I look like I'm like having a hot flash right. all the time. Right. <laughs> um, so blend it, kind of find your contour, mm -hmm. and just right above that, just very softly. And kind of just sweep it over your cheekbones. Okay, there we go. Hey, just a, okay. just a little bit of flush. Get in there. The only okay. point of blush is to put the color back in your face that you took away with all the foundation. So there's that. Okay. Okay, blush is done. Um, let's see. I normally I would highlight, but I'm gonna save that for the end. Ooh, the the what is it? The piece de resistance. You're the French person, not me. Like the crowning moment, the icing on the cake. What's it called? I don't know. You don't know. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. The so finale. The finale. Okay, so the right. highlight will wait for later. So I'm going to set my face with a setting spray try to find one without alcohol because that makes wrinkles worse oh and will age your skin faster okay so what are you using what brand are you using so this is a NYX Mac matte finish so I'm just gonna put this in on my face okay are you gonna do me too close your eyes close everything close okay. <laughs> there we go all right let's... not unpleasant but it's kind of weird putting something wet on top of all this dry powder stuff. Using an eyeshadow palette since I left my <laughs> fan upstairs. Oh, man. And then the... I'm just using my hands because I'm cheap like that. What I'm going to do is go over and just buff. And this is going to press the wet into the skin and make the powder blend together and look much more natural. Okay. That way you don't look too powdery and chunky. All right. Purple eyes. Ooh, I like purple. Fun. Okay. All right. So, um, we're gonna use the same palette. So let me see your palettes. I only have the neutral palette. Okay. So we're gonna use my palette. <laughs> I have 
the Morphe Browns palette. This is a 12NB Morphe palette, and this is what I use all the time on all my videos. This is it, all of it. Well, so um, I don't have any purple, except I do have a drugstore Revlon that is blue and green, but I don't have any purple there. So either. I have these, <laughs> and then I have three Mega Morphe palettes as well. Well, I'm honored that you're gonna share your expensive, fancy stuff with me. <laughs> right, so this is the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette, and this is got one of my favorite matte whites in it. And I always start my eyes with a matte white on a dense synthetic brush, and I just go from brow bone to eyelid. Just all the way. So what color are you using first? I am using China White. Okay, I have a white one in my palette. Okay, well here, why don't you use the same one as me? Okay, do I use this brush? Sure, it's flat synthetic. A flat synthetic brush. Watch the master. All right. That'll just brighten it up and make all the other shadows blend much easier. Okay, what next? Okay, so the most important thing about eyeshadow is to use as many shades as actually possible <laughs> because if you just go in with a dark shade, you're going to get a really patchy eye. So I'm going to go in with this light one right here called Courtney. I don't think I've ever used more than two at a time. How many are you going to use? It varies. I generally use between five and eight. Oh, wow. My eyes Ooh, are not careful, careful, oh, careful, careful. Okay. I use too much. Tough. Okay. And then you go in your crease right here, just find it naturally, and start blending. Softly, small circles. Oh, I didn't do circles. I was doing lines back and forth, back and forth, like a wind, windshield wiper. So if you do the circles where you want it, and then you kind of do the back and forth, that'll keep the product concentrated where you placed it so it doesn't get everywhere. And then you're going to blend with a shade like this, up and out. So, the lighter the shade, the higher you go. The darker the shade, you keep it down low. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here we have rhymes for knitting and crochet, but not, I didn't realize you had rhymes for makeup too. Like knitting, in through the back door, run around the back, out through the window, off jumps Jack. Do you know that one? I, that's how you, I learned to you knit. You taught me when I was little, but. That's how I learned to knit. I remember the that stitch. scarf I made when I was little that had the big hole in it. Uh-huh. And we just had to pretend it wasn't falling apart, but it definitely was. And guess who still has it? <laughs> I can't believe it doesn't It's your first project. I had to keep it. Side note, I burned my hand. Oh, no. So beauty tip number one is don't burn your hand when you're doing your hair. <laughs> but beauty tip number two is if you do that, put some aloe on it and make it feel better. So I'm just gonna keep blending. This is a Morphe M433 brush. It's my favorite blending brush. Now what color are you using now? I'm still using Courtney. You're still using Courtney? I am. Okay. Can I blend up and I guess out I should do some more too, huh? Slightly, just out past my temple. Just a little bit. All right, cool. And then, let's see, I'm going to find a lighter purple. Okay, so. This is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, and I'm gonna go into the shade right here called, I think it's called Bueno Fresco. I don't really know. I don't know how to, I don't speak Italian. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna dab, dab into that with the same brush. You speak everything else, you don't speak Italian. I bet you could speak Italian very easily. I can't really speak Spanish. Yeah, but. So this shade is a little bit darker than the other one. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put it still in that crease but we're just gonna keep it slightly lower and blend it farther in. With the lighter colors, you wanna go in with a really, or with the darker colors, you wanna go in with a really light hand to start. I'm gonna keep it the most concentrated right here on this outer edge. Not that I'm a makeup guru by any means, but. Well, it's just like me in the cooking channel. It's like, I figure if you watch enough cooking videos, you might actually learn a few tips, but you have certainly learned a lot of tips watching videos on makeup. I do like my and makeup. And experimenting a lot on your own. I do like my makeup. Hmm. Need more? I don't know, do I? 
I don't know. I have not looked Seems at like it. a lot of product. Like this is more product than I'm used to using. Um, well, it's actually not that much when you consider how lightly you tap into it. Okay. And just make sure it's even. I can spend hours crocheting on one blanket and doing 20 minutes of makeup is like, okay, I want to be done now. I want to get back to crocheting. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to dip into a third palette. This is totally unnecessary, mm -hmm. but I mean, that's just kind of how I am. Let's see, I'm looking for, here's my favorite brush. Well, my favorite packing brush. So this is a Real Techniques brush and I'm going to go right here. This is another Jeffree Star palette. I'm going to go into shade Androgyny. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, deep purple. Just going to take a little bit, tap it off, and I'm going to put it right here in the corner of my eye. And that's it. Just tap it right there. Ooh, smoky is happening. Oh, the FedEx truck just arrived. We're right. getting a package. So we're going to put the purple right here and stop. Right. So he's going to ring the doorbell here in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back in with my M433 with no extra product. I bet he's bringing me more yarn. I hope he's bringing me more lip gloss. <laughs> I bet he's bringing me yarn for unboxing videos. Stay tuned. Link Stay in the description. Tuned. Yes, absolutely. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. So I'm going to go in with that clean brush, no extra product on it, and I'm going to blend it out. Small circles keeping in the outer corner of my eye. Yarn delivery. Oh, he must have seen us through the window. Hi, FedEx man. Thank you for my yarn. Or her lip gloss. I hope it's my lip gloss. I hope it's my yarn. <laughs> Did you finish with your shade? I think so, but it's, I don't, it's like, seems like a lot, so I just kind of stopped. Okay, so you don't have to use more. If you think there's too much, you can always just keep blending. Diffuse. Keep blending. Blending is how you fix all the problems, so you don't actually have to be good at makeup. You just got to keep doing just this. blend the heck out of it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I've done such a great job here. I'm going to do a super close-up on the video. This is how it looks so far. I feel like it looks bruised. All right. You don't look <laughs> bruised. <laughs> Fix me, me. So what you did is you pulled that darker shade in too far on the lid, whereas you need to keep it right here on the outer corner. Okay. There we go. Thank you. It's just a little bit of extra blending. You'll be fine. Okay. And then this is how mine looks. Little... Ooh, yours looks good. It's just a tad more of a gradient. You do this all the time. Okay, now what? So I'm going to go back into the Beauty Killer palette. And I'm going to pull up this shade Violence, which is a brighter purple. But it's got some metallic in it. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. <gasps> Cat break. Hi, oh, he's so, oh my goodness. That's Theo. YouTube debut. YouTube debut. Okay, bye Theo. Okay. See you later. Love you. Well, all right. So I'm gonna go back here into shade Violence. Violence, ooh. Right. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna put this right here. Okay, I can't see where you're putting Slightly in farther from that dark shade. Okay. Right there. Hmm. So, right, find your people. Mm -hmm. A little bit to the right, right there. Okay. Um, I'm using a pointed blending brush from Morphe, and this is not sponsored by Morphe. I wish it was. Uh, that'd be unreal. Hey, Morphe, you can send product to me and Mara, and I'll we can do unboxing for you, too, just like I do for my yarn. Morphe's laughing. Morphe's laughing. It's all right. Um, they can laugh, we can enjoy, it's all good. And I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush, shocking. And just blend back and forth, tiny little motion, blend that out. So what this does, layering all these colors, is it creates a depth in your eye that makes it look much softer instead of just like you threw color on there. So it's much, much less harsh. And it creates depth. All right. So the secret for hooded eyes, as like I have, is to go slightly above your eyelid, but still keep it under your brow. Like so. Oh, okay. So above your eyelid, um, see how 
Here's my lid ends. Mm -hmm. My shadow is still up here. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. What do you want to do in the center? Like a gold, a purple, a Ooh, silver? Um, can I do silver? Want to do silver? Yeah. I want to wear silver. But silver. So this is the Kylie Jenner Naughty Palette. Believe it or not, my little brother got me this for Christmas. So we're going to open up go into shade Ooh, snowflake. Ooh, that's really pretty. So here's what you're going to do. Okay. Metallics. Kylie's metallics are known for having a lot of fallout. With a metallic, you go in with a flat synthetic brush. Get that on there, just on one side. That's all you need. Okay. Like this. Don't, okay. Don't put it on your eye yet. Okay. Take some setting spray or water is fine too. Some people like their brush, but that's gross. Ew. Yeah. Spray it. Well, at least like some companies are like completely organic and stuff and that's safer, but still. Like I would say, poison ivy is organic. I wouldn't like that. All right. <laughs> I don't eat lettuce or leaves. So you're gonna start right here in the middle. Okay. Down. Oh wow, okay. Right? Oops. Which side? From the inner corner and over. <gasps> oh no, I have like a stripe. I look like a skunk. <laughs> so don't Can worry. You see this, look what I did. So and then you're gonna blend it inward okay. towards yeah. your inner corner. Okay. And keep it on the eyelid, no higher. Oh, that's my problem. It went too high. And then just... Ooh, I like that. Dab like that. I like it. And then, here we go. So I'm going to do it again on the other eye. And then I'll show you how to blend this together. Okay, so this looks a little better. So <laughs> you're not using enough product. I'm not? Okay. Well, it depends on the, your, ooh, your desired intensity. Yeah, we should have done it at the same time and saved some. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is like $4. Okay. The NYX stuff. You need to get me some of that. I don't, so I don't have to come and like steal it out of your drawer every time I do makeup. Well, we need to go to like, Ulta anyway every so and get you some eyeshadow makeup. that's not brown. <laughs> yeah. I'll brown, be... listen. Yeah, I know. Brown eyeshadow is pretty. But. Oh, but the silver's fun. Right. And pull that just slightly along your lower lash line. This is a lot more product on this eye, so I have to go back and fix the other one. It's all about balance. It is. Whatever you do, if you just keep it even. Listen, if one eye has it, if it, it's a mistake. Two eyes, you did it on purpose. Yeah, just like crochet. If you make one mistake, it's a mistake. But if you then repeat it, it becomes a design element. Right. Nobody that, knows you didn't do it on purpose. Just lie. <laughs> well, fake it. Okay, but, mm. all right. Okay, so I, I have got my too much. silver on there. I have too much on one eye and not enough on the other. So just, let me see, blink. Okay, so just go in with more. And then while she's doing that, I'm gonna go back into the Beauty Killer palette. Now this is like way more dramatic than I would normally do because, you know, I'm a mom of teenagers. Right. Yeah. Um, but she gets away with this stuff all the time, like glitter and, like, look at that. Okay, so what are you doing now? So I'm going back into the shade we used earlier, Violence, and I'm tapping it right here over the edge of the silver. Okay. To make it look more blended. Not full coverage, not covering it, but just blending it. Oh, So that okay. it's not so harsh. It looks like it fades into the purple more. Got it. Which you can't really see on camera, but in real life, it's your friend, I promise. All right, I'm digging the silver. Yeah, silver's fun. I'm gonna go in with my blending brush and blend. Like I could see myself wearing the silver. Silver is fun. Colors are fun. All right. Maybe I should do more silver. If you want, do whatever you want. It's okay to be natural though. I mean, look at me. I was born like this with <laughs> silver eyelids and purple. Same silver shade and I'm just dragging it lightly on my bottom lash line just a little bit and keeping it right here. Oh goodness. Okay, that's like an advanced skill there. Let's see what I can do. Oops. See, I have silver there already from like where I've already messed up or it's already like... So see what that does right there? It opens up your eye, makes it look much more big and open and lifted. All right, lifted is good. 
that it is. All right, so while she's doing that, I'm going in with a angled brush. This is usually for your brows, but I mean, it's whatever. So I'm going to go in a little bit with this shade Violence again. Okay, and where are you right putting here. it? I'm going to start right here on my bottom lash line. Oh. And press it. Now, are you going to do eyeliner too? Yeah. Or this instead of eyeliner? I haven't decided yet. Press it right there, and I'm going to keep it right there. Just on that outer little segment. And this is going to bring the shadow of the upper eyelid and the lower eye together. Yeah. This is completely optional. I'm just extra that way. And then I'm just going to blend softly. Now, we're taking our time doing this because you're showing me how to do it, but how long does it take you to do, like, your whole face, like, when we're, um, when you're going out with your friends or whatever? It depends on what I'm going for. So, I'm going to go back into Courtney and blend the purple and the silver together on my bottom lash line. It depends on what I'm doing. I can get this done anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Just kind of depends on what I'm trying to do. You know, if I'm doing a brown smoky eye, I could do that in five minutes flat, but if I'm working with color, I generally like to take more time. Easy. Very nice. So your silver, do you want me to brighten your silver a little bit? Your silver's a little dull. My silver's dull? Okay, yes. Please. I'm not trying to be mean. Please, polish my silver. I'm just going to brighten it a little bit. There we go. I just, I just wanted it a little There, see, just a little bit brighter. Sounds good. I like everything to be bright and open. And I tend to be too subtle. Yeah, well. With my makeup. All right, so this not again. Not with my bad jokes. Fair enough. All right, so I'm gonna curl my lashes, okay. which is I can do that unnecessary, but you know, well, you've got fantastic lashes, so if it is I'm, unnecessary for you. If I'm gonna do this whole glam thing, I'm gonna do it hard. Just careful not to mess up your eyeshadow. Oh, whoops. Where is that? Okay, and I'm gonna take the roller lash by Benefit. This is my favorite mascara. And I still use the Great Lash, the Maybelline, because actually I have had makeup artists tell me this is still their favorite mascara. So, yeah, this makeup artist has used that. Oh, I prefer Benefit, but that is a good one. Well, how much is the Benefit? Don't worry about it. <laughs> and there it is. Yeah, and then there's a close up of my eye. Nice, very pretty. You've got great eyes. Thank you. That's what my boyfriend says. <laughs> well, he's right. Oh, hmm, what kind of highlight do I want to use? I think I'm actually going to use a silver highlight. Ooh. Because I used silver eyes. Okay. And I'm going to keep it going. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you almost lost it. I did almost lose that. Okay. So you have Jeffree Star Skin yeah. Frost. Listen, I know there's a lot of controversy, but the makeup's good. So, you know. Controversy. Jeffree Star? Yeah, because oh. he's just, you know, he's a guy. So this is the... Job. Oh, but his makeup is fantastic. That it is. His lipstick is my favorite. I know, mine too. Yeah. So this is the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Highlighting Palette. He can do whatever he needs to do. He gets the job done. This is a Morphe M510, and I'm going to go right here into shade Glacier, which is a silvery, cool tone. That's pretty. Of course. Yeah, this is my favorite palette. This right here is my favorite shade. It's called Lavender Snow. Now, did you want me to use this one, or did you want me to use something different? Um, I was probably going to layer. Oh, you are. Okay. See that right there? Boom. Highlighter. Well, I want the lavender one. Do you? Can I have the lavender one? Yes. Go in very light-handed. I don't... Oh, not that brush. Mm -mm. Not that brush. I don't yeah. have one that's gonna, the right size. I'm going to let you use this. This is my you. favorite highlighting brush. That's Thank the Marky Y6. Now, do I need to tap this one? No. Never tap. There's never too much highlighter. Just lightly over your cheekbones, the high points of your face. Keep it out of this zone right here because that's where a lot of people have problem areas with their pores. Oh. And highlighter is going to make your pores look bigger, 
No, we don't want that. Right. This is my favorite part. I always save it till last. I don't feel like I've got enough highlight on. Let me see. Yeah, you... With the lavender snow, I've used it so much that you really have to go in. Okay. There we go. I mean, it's starting to happen a little bit. Yeah, that one, I've just used it so much. <laughs> and then I go down the bridge of the nose. And right over the cupid's bow. And then sometimes, like today, I'm feeling extra dewy, so I go above my eyebrow. You really forehead. hit the highlight hard. Yeah, I do. Well, dewy, it's a look. Take a look at that. A little bit on the chin. There we go. Maybe this isn't the right color for me because I feel like it's not showing up. Why don't you, the way highlight is supposed to show up. This one is called Ice Cold. It's also by Jeffree Star. Why don't you give this one a try? Just a little okay. bit. Again, very light. Okay. All right, that's popping. Yeah, there you go. That's popping. There's no such thing as too much highlight. If you can't see me from Mars, then I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> There we go. See me. This is what I do when I get sad, <laughs> which is a lot. Highlight, highlight. I highlight my face. And then because I'm extra, I highlight my collarbone too. Hmm. Which is, again, optional. But I'm going to do it anyway. And then I sheer it out. A little bit. Yeah. And then I'm just a little bit extra shiny. Oh, I went on with that nose highlight. I went in. All right, there we go. Ooh, see, now I've got some highlight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just like staring at myself in the camera. That's all right. Okay. So, okay. unfortunately, well, actually, I was going to say highlighting is done, but um, no, it's not. So, so I'm going to now? go in with this little detailing brush. Uh-huh. Oh, I think this is e.l.f., but, yeah, okay. e.l.f. I'm going to take just a little bit right there. Oh, the inside? Are you doing the inside of your eye? I am. Okay. I'm going to go right there. Okay. I don't... Let's see. Let's see what I can do. Again, opens up your eye, makes everything look bigger and wider and more wick. Well, and then maybe it makes you look like you didn't live on not enough sleep last night. Right. Because I was up watching makeup videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. You... Yeah. You good, ready for lipstick? I am. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in with a lip scrub. This isn't. This is my favorite. Again, it's Jeffrey Star. Mm. Promise, this is not sponsored. He's, he's a queen. Um, this is orange soda, mm -hmm. and this is ridiculously expensive. But you can get a lip scrub. You can make one yourself with sugar and olive oil. But and I, I just, have the blue raspberry one, and I really like it. Yeah, it's but, definitely a treat. But this one is my favorite, and it gets all the dead skin off your lips. I do not know what lipstick to use today. I know I have a Stila here that I like. I've got, well, there's two things you could do here. I've got here. MAC that I really like. I've got a couple Morphe ones that I like. Well, there's a few choices. Okay. You could, if you're really going full glam, purple, you could do a red. <gasps> oh, okay. You could do a nude. Mm. Neutralize your lips mm -hmm. if your eyes are going to be the star. Or you could do a purpley nude that kind of matches your eyes. I think I want a purpley nude. So do you remember which one would what that the main be? eyeshadow we used to blend? It's called Violence and Courtney Androgyny. Androgyny. Oh, so what lipstick yeah. should you use? The androgyny lipstick. Androgyny lipstick. Hey, picked it up on the first try. And I'm still scrubbing. You're still scrubbing? Mm-hmm. So this is, um, I like lip, liquid lipstick <laughs> a lot, like because it stays put really well. And I, I like the liquid lipstick a lot because regular lipstick can be really beautiful, but I feel like it doesn't stay. But like liquid lipstick, I feel like stays much better. So this is the androgyny lipstick. Mm -hmm. It's by Jeffree Star too, I know. There's a theme in this video. But the only purples I have really are by Jeffree Star. Just because he makes the best purples. Well, really, I out of all the lipsticks that I have, his is I tend to grab his more than any other ones. I just really like it. Uh, here we go. 
Now, are you wearing androgyny too? I am. Oh, so we're both wearing androgyny. So, throughout this video, we've used the same products for everything. Oh yeah, I guess we have. We used we? every single product. Okay, that's same. exactly the same. But let's compare. Well, I mean, you did a great job with yours, but you can see like my skin tone is just a little bit different than yours. And glamour shot. And done. Very good. good. Beautiful. So, final step. Oh, okay. Close everything. We're swimming. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. <sighs> it's very refreshing. Nice. Look at you. Boy, you look beautiful. Thank you. All right, and that'll keep your makeup on all day. So, so that was a lot of fun. Looks. Yes. Smoky purple with some highlight. All the same products. Contouring, different skin tones, but the same products. Right. I'm yeah. the color of never been outside before. <laughs> I call it fair. And I'm the color of goes outside to run as much as possible. Right. Wear while really. wearing sunscreen. So, <laughs> so if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below so that you know so that we know if you want us to do more makeup videos or if you have some suggestions on different products that you really like. And had a great time and thank you for joining me and Mara on the EllenGormley.com channel. Thank you. Take care.